Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to present how one user from you know uh, non-technical background can prepare his own report using a very beautiful module provided by Wunstein and their OCA library that is BI View Editor that can be you know found over here to download with certain you know installation libraries uh, by Python libraries need to install over there. The instructions are given very clearly and now I will show you how exactly I am going to use that module. So under the dashboard you will find a custom BI views and then you can create your own report from available objects. So if I want to prepare you know sales report for my you know internal purpose I can go to sales order I create you know uh, like select the fields like customer then I want to select the currency then I want to select uh, the delivery status then uh, you know the fiscal position maybe invoice status maybe you know the order date and then uh, maybe the price list which they are belong to then sales team and sales person as well as any source document or maybe you know total amount and the warehouse so i have selected this field now after selecting this field once you save you can see er diagram what are the objects you have collected from one object of odoo and here are the details where you can predefine the row and column uh, uh, you know positioning of this selected report field now i also want to club uh, you know sales order line item from here where uh, you know i may require you know a lead time from the different object then uh, i may require uh, you know the product so it will ask for you know which uh, link you want to use and then once i save it it will show me like there are three different objects uh, you know i have created lead time and product so let me you know remove product that might not give me the right way uh, again coming from the sales order but if i go to sales order only and I want to select, you know, the products are not part of sales order. So it is only part of sales order line. And I want to give first sales order line, then product. And then I want the status of, you know, delivery. So let me check whether I get it or delivery quantity. So it is again, not and then, you know, sales order line delivery quantity to take invoice status and then is down payment order status product that quantity so I say this one and I am checking this diagram over here and the details are given so I want to you know uh, group by the column item to be delivery status and fiscal position and invoice status and order date and then rest will be you know my row item so it will directly populate entire report this is the measurement field then this is going to column this is going into row and this is again measurement field and these are the things i want to uh, give additionally you know from uh, the model so once I save and generate the BI view report, it will open up entire report like this, where I have customer wise, you know, delivery status wise, fiscal position wise, invoice and status and everything with product. And once I go into BI view, it will populate all my report with the uh, column and row choices like this. So it is very beautifully present with the entire customer information with, you know, products he has purchased with the total and quantity what we have selected with populated things over here. And then I can insert into spreadsheet and measure further. And the beautiful thing is I can also uh, create a menu uh, where this should go. So I say sales and, you know, uh, let me check where should I put it sales or let's say directly in sales my report it will create a menu directly in Odoo so next time when I go to sales 
I will find my own report, sales my report, and I can jump into that report very easily with my view. So a very beautiful uh, done. Now you can create your own uh, BI report very easily by you know uh, something like you know drag and drop or selection. You know this is not drag and drop, but yeah, uh, feeling like you know I am just selecting my views from available objects, and it will allow me to create my own report uh, with the uh, objects I have selected. So guys, I hope uh, this module will help a lot of people in version 16 or in previous versions uh, as it is available. And I hope someone will migrate this, maybe one stand team or some else to version 17 or 18. Uh, so one can take advantage of creating their own report by selection of objects and uh, see the hierarchy of report from different objects and forms. Thank you guys. Good day.